Day one. What's up you guys? So recently I have been on a long, long health journey for the last three years or so. So let's rewind about three years ago. I started, I was at the heaviest point I had ever been in my entire life because life happens, shit happens all the time. So I was at 260 pounds, worst I had ever been in my life. So I went on this weight loss journey. I was determined to lose weight. I wanted to do as much as I possibly could. And within a year's time span, yeah, a year, year and a half, I had lost 30 pounds, which was fantastic. I was working out, I was eating healthy, I was doing everything that I should have. And I, and I lost a whole bunch of weight, I was looking great. And then, all of a sudden, without warning, I just plateaued. I, I was running, I was doing everything possible, I ate less, I was running more, I was cutting carbs, I was doing as much as I possibly could, and nothing was helping. So, fast forward to about a, about six or seven months ago, I was running so hard because I was trying so hard to lose weight that all of a sudden my foot started hurting. And my friends know this story. Uh, my foot started hurting and I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a sore foot from running, no big deal. So it ended up really hurting a lot. And especially when I got back from England, it was to the point, because I was walking 15 miles a day in England, it, it got to the point where I was like, I need to go to the doctor. So with that, there's my dog. With that, um, I realized that when I went to the doctor, the problem that I thought was, oh, it's just a sore foot was actually a lot worse. It was plantar fasciitis and I was told that I can't run anymore and if I do, I have to be very cautious about it. You know, you do the foot brace and the stretches and the ice and all that stuff, which I did. I did that for a solid uh, three or four months, like the doctor said, quit running. Um, I also quit exercising because every, anytime I put pressure on my foot, it was, it was painful. I tried to get back into running after the allotted amount of time that he gave me. And every time I tried to run, every time I tried to walk, it was just excruciating. And basically what I found out was that I can no longer run anymore, which killed me because I was a runner and I love to run. And it's, it's something that I really, really legitimately enjoyed doing. So fast forward to about six or seven months ago, I, I couldn't exercise anymore. Um, I was a little stressed out. So about three weeks ago, I went on vacation and I came back and I had realized over the last six or seven months because I wasn't exercising, because I wasn't eating the right foods anymore, that I had put on another 10 pounds. And I decided, no, 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 not going down this road again, not doing it. I decided to really push through that plateau and really make a huge, huge impact in my life. So, fast forward to the real story. Now, two, two weeks ago, I decided to completely change my diet around. I decided to incorporate a lot more vegetables. I decided to cut out a lot of carbs, which I had done before, but I, I knew how to eat healthy. I didn't understand how to integrate it so my body could use it for fuel. I, I never really understood it. I never understood how to mix and match the proper foods, the proper vegetables, and everything like that. So I decided to really do some research. Um, get some information off of a lot of different Facebook groups, uh, friends. So I got a lot of information. I put all that information to use and I started meal prepping again. I started getting all of the right foods and vegetables, um, proteins, fats, meats, everything that I had not done for the last year or so. So, in the last two weeks, 
I have dropped 10 pounds, which was the 10 pounds that I had gained the last six months. Um, and all of a sudden, I got a friend request from somebody on Facebook, Matthew Wright, which, thank you, shout out to you, you're amazing. Um, he messaged me, and he's a prove it, uh, uh, what's the word? He, he does ketogenic, uh, the ketogenic life, lifestyle, and he works for Prove It. And he and I went back and forth, talking back and forth, and I'm like, yay, keto, say, I've, I've heard of it, I know a lot of people who are on it, a lot of my friends are on it. Um, and I just kind of shrugged it off, not really putting any thought into it. And then I was, I was driving to work one day, and I thought, you know, Maybe there's a reason that he just happened to pop up on my first Facebook profile and message me. So I decided to take him up on his word and see what he had to say and, and just kind of do something completely out of my range of familiarity, out of my range of being comfortable with somebody else telling me how to eat and what I should do and what I need to what I need to do to help me lose a lot more weight, to help me break past that plateau that I've been in for the last two years. So he, end up, he ended up sending me um, Keto OS Max, which Keto, if you don't know what Keto is, I don't know shit about it personally, other than what I've seen on YouTube and what I've read on the internet. Um, but basically what it is is you have three different macros that you're tracking in your food. You have carbohydrates, you have protein, and you have fats. Normally, everybody is used to grabbing that piece of bread, that pasta, the candy bar, for that fuel, for that energy burst. But the problem is, is that that energy burst only lasts so long and then it dissipates over time. Usually maybe an hour or two and then you get that crash in the afternoon. What keto is, is that it takes you eliminate the carbohydrates in your diet and you incorporate more fats, moderate protein, very, very little carbohydrates, 10 to 20% of your food source. And what it does is it kicks your body from using carbohydrates as a fuel source to using fat as a fuel source. And when your body uses fat as a fuel source, when your metabolism kicks in, you're actually going to end up burning fat rather than the carbohydrates that are in your body. So you end up burning body fat instead of the carbohydrates that are just there on the surface. So that's what I've learned from the internet. You're welcome. Um, so I have, this is day one, and I started the Keto OS drink, and I think I did Maui Punch today. And it's, it's good. It's, it tastes good. Uh, kind of tastes like Crystal Light-ish. Um, the couple of things I noticed and a couple of things that I've realized people talking about on the internet, um, one of the things I noticed today was the indigestion issues that people talk about. Um, when you switch your diet, first, first initially when you switch your diet, you're going to eliminate a lot of the crap that's been in your body for a while and you're gonna feel like crap for at least a week. You can incorporate um, magnesium and electrolytes and different things like that to make yourself feel a little better, but you're still gonna feel like shit. So, um, after that initial shock of feeling like crap for a week, which I went through and it was terrible, and I'm sorry everybody at work that you had to go through that, I'm sorry. Um, but after a week, I really started feeling a lot better, like a lot better. And, and I hadn't taken the Keto OS yet. This is just changing my diet. So a week later, I incorporated yoga. Since I couldn't work out anymore and I couldn't really do anything strenuous like that anymore, like walking around like I used to, I started to do yoga. And guys, let me tell you what. I thought yoga was going to be easy and relaxing and namaste and zen. That shit is hard. No kidding. I was I was blown out of the water. I tried one uh, video online and I, I 
almost threw up all over the garden. I almost, but, but, I, I, I made it, and I did it, and I've done it three times this week. I've done it all this week, and I really, really like it because I can feel it in my entire body. Like, it's a full body workout. It's, it's, and the one big thing, because I have a lot of back problems, the big thing for me is that I can feel my back strengthening and it doesn't hurt as much and I don't have to stretch as much and I don't have to move around as much. It's really helping my back problems considerably. So this week, um, or no, today, I just got the Keto OS yesterday and I took a half a pack because you're supposed to start, excuse me, with half a pack in the morning and then the other half in the afternoon. The half pack in the morning, I didn't really feel anything. Um, but the half a pack in the afternoon, I felt it, I got the indigestion. Um, so that was super fun. And I've had the indigestion until about an hour ago. So it lasted the better part of the afternoon. Some people get it, some people don't. I looked at a lot of blogs online and it just kind of depends on your body. Everybody's different. So, um, I got that and then I noticed my appetite kind of suppress over, over the afternoon where I would normally eat a snack. I didn't have the snack. Um, I just ate dinner when I got home, my normal salad and I had bison for dinner tonight because that's a good fat to lean meat. Um, and I actually feel pretty good. So, Today's just day one. This is kind of an introductory. This is my story. This is what's going on. This is what I had to do. Um, and I'm just kind of seeing it through and seeing how everything's going to go. Um, so far, day one is okay. I feel all right. Uh, we'll see how the next couple of days go. I'm going to do measurements and I'm tracking my weight and I'm tracking um, my the measurements of my arms and my waist and, and my legs and stuff like that. So once I really start to see the difference, I'll be able to see the progression over time of what's going on. So, uh, this is the end of day one and I'm going to update every day on how I feel and what I'm feeling because apparently when you take it over the course of a couple of days, a week, a month, a couple of months, you start to feel better and things start changing and your body starts changing. So what I wanted to do was the first initial 10 days of me getting on this, I'm going to do a video every day. And then after the 10 days, I'll do a video a week to kind of show the progression after that. So this is the end of day one. I will do a video tomorrow for everybody. Um, if you want to follow along, like and subscribe so you can see my whole health story of everything going on. I'm going to do be doing meal prep videos. Uh, to show everything that I'm eating and how I'm eating it and what times of the day and stuff like that. So if you're interested, follow along uh, and I will see you tomorrow.